be a bard and play a flute. What? Is that you could be a bard and play a flute. Oh yeah. Or a dancer if I wanted to be. Who says men can't be dancers? My son has the worst hair, man. It's great. <laughs> oh yeah, there's Lorenz. Jesus. What? Some guy went and fully recreated a model of Gary Mock Monastery. That's cool. Which is like two-dimensional, that's not too bad. No, it's not. It's three-dimensional. Wait, what do you mean? On the tabletop? Yes. What? Poppy! Okay. Let's see. Ow! Uh, Armor Slayer. Convoy, retrieve. All right, Frey, get ready. You're about to get a master seal. You've done well by me, Frey. Prepare to be a god. No, I made this use without reading more into it. There are some differences and stuff, but I made use of this for like the assets and pads while using the rules from the other guys. Cool, you fine. I don't see any problem with that. No. This keeps track of all the maps and shit. Which is nice. Although it has like a million damage calculators and like no <laughs> cards because it's like... This is so it's easier so you have like all enemy units marked and then all team units and all these units. And Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a lot to take in at once but it's doable. But that also, but that's also fine. Like I said, if I were to do it, I told I said it'd be like every or every other Saturday, depending on what's better for people. Yeah. Because every Saturday may be like not enough time, or maybe too much for some people. Plus, to be working every other week, you know, you might not be every Saturday. I'm cool with whatever. I mean, obviously, I've got to work. I mean, of course, but like I said, even on Saturdays, Tyler gets off at the latest five, so that'd be the like, earliest we can do it. But Tyler said, if you want to include me, yeah, I'm down for it. And I'm like, of course I want to include you. Princess Minerva, uh, we will soon reach the Macedonian border. Are you certain you wish to join the battle? If, you're, if you have any reservations about fighting your own countrymen. If I did, Prince Marth, I would not have offered you my axe. But surely, you have the wrong idea. Perhaps you think I wish to spare my brother and former vassals. Forgive them for seeing things differently? Don't you? I would be lying if I said I did not wish it were that simple. But history needs to remember when Macedon went astray. It was a Macedonian who set things right. Even if it means your own brother may die? Since I was little, I followed in Michaelis's footsteps. Whatever books he read, I read. Whenever he practiced the sword, I close by, watching, learning. He was always a step ahead, my hero, something to aspire to. Even now, some part of me loves him. I love him enough to spare him death on some stranger's sword, you see? Let him be punished by my hands. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. He already set up the supports. Oh. <laughs> Because, like, you get stab boosts depending on if you're fighting next to uh, somebody you're supported. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so it's like, hey, yeah, if you got B, C this, B this, A this, S this, adds all of this shit, and I'm like, Okay. Well, this is gonna be. And now I just gotta start plotting out some story ideas. Because I think I've got the players down because I have at least four, which I think is a good number. You know, would I like more? Yeah, I'd like as many people as you like, <laughs> obviously. But. I think four is a pretty good just overall number of players. It's a good starter number. Uh, five if Andrew's. <laughs> surprisingly, it's Andrew that's on the fence, which I guess isn't surprising. But yeah, I was like, why'd you say surprisingly? I mean, he hasn't gotten back to me to do the work, but I'd like it if he would. But honestly, I have the least faith out of him than I did the others. I can agree with that. Okay. I finally made Gordon a sniper. I shouldn't have done it. I I, th I realized, like, you're right about the whole, like, you need to let him get level 20 before you master class them. Mm -hmm. Like, it's super huge stat. It's still right? gonna drop, like, it's still gonna drop their stats, but not as, like, partial. Oh shit, Harden. God damn, boy. <laughs> That dude just fucked your ass. Like I said, if you do it early on, then you're set right then and there, but the more you go, the worse it's gonna be. This is a big fucking battle. Holy shit, man. Oh, damn. Gordinsky, what is happened? Me, or do the maps get smaller as the games progress? Yeah. I mean, I have not seen a map that is like even relatively large on Path of Radiance, and they were not that big in three houses. Yeah, the, I, yeah, they really weren't. Not that that's a problem. I don't mind that, mind you. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think fucking. Oh, what do you call it? Um. A genealogy went crazy on their map sizes. Dude, I learned like a couple things reading up on Fire Emblem that I'm like, geez, nice. Oh, uh, one, it wasn't actually meant to be a full game, it was just a project they were working on for something else. What? Uh, Fire Emblem? Oh. I don't remember, yeah. It wasn't meant to be like a complete game. And then, uh,. They said, like, there was a game, Advanced Wars, that Nintendo had done. Or yeah, they had I've done, heard of that. Yep. That did good. Like, it did good in America, and they were like, if that game didn't do good, Fire Emblem would have never seen overseas. Yeah. And then they were like, honestly, there was a lot of times in the early 2000s where Fire Emblem wasn't doing great, and we were going to cancel the series as a whole. But decided to just keep going and I'm like man god damn so it. many times we could have lost fire emblem and never even knew it existed would it be sad no because I wouldn't know about it <laughs> but the fact that I do know about it makes me sad <laughs> and happy that uh it never happened Of course, you know how this has to start out. I'm pretty sure you can guess what mission one's gonna be. Nope. What is it? Oh, yeah, it's it's your boy Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> random bandits that eventually evolve into. Oh yes, I'm the god of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Always bandits, Jesus. That it is. Boy, I'm not gonna lie when I say I'm a little nervous. It's a big battlefield, man. 
But yeah, the combat and everything is going to be basically like you're playing Fire Emblem. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Like, if it didn't play like Fire Emblem, I didn't think it would be No, there. it plays exactly like Fire Emblem, so... <laughs> so that's, like, one big thing for me that I was like, oh, I do like this. Well, fuck, I just screwed Harden. No, 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 hold on. We actually might make it out of this. Shit, I should have equipped Rider's Bane, but I did Damn it. That's sad on the tabletop RPG one, a guy's like, can I play this in single player? <laughs> and I'm just like, you sad, sad man, I kind of feel bad for you. Oh god damn, Ogma. Holy shit. No, he's gonna kill Ogma. No, he's not. Oh, thank god. This guy's gonna kill Ogma. Fuck. <laughs> Prince. Yes. I'm sorry. Fucking shit. That was a, this is a hard mission. Holy shit. Just look at it, because there's nothing interrupting you and the enemy. There's no, like, strategy. You're just going straight in. Mm. Shut up, Minerva. To hear your you gotta shit. get that wall going. Yeah. I think we all need to approach from the left side, is what it is. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll all go to the left side. Gordon, go! Gordon, activate! Navarre, you're a useless senior, I just want you to know that, man. He still hasn't gotten any better after all this time. Well, I haven't been using him either, because he pisses me oh. off. Alright. racist? <laughs> I don't think it's racist. At all. Hell yeah. Mm. Question is, what do I name the continent of which we are on? Damn it, Harden. with that Rider's Bane, boy. Go, Navarre. Run for your sweet, tender life. Get him. Wonderful. Good job, Beck is almost level 20. So apparently you can't level up the fucking, you can't rank up your class up the ballisticians on here, and that sucks. Mm -hmm. I was looking forward to having a tank if that was possible. That's how it was in a waking? Maybe fake. One of them. Damn. Pray, my friend, for the love of God, do not die on me. Mm. 
I'm gonna put you beside your brother. And then I, too, will aside you. For the love of Christ, nothing kill us. God, I hope this works. What? Uh, oh, I was gonna send you a picture on the Discord before posting the Fire Emblem. Okay. Gordon, rise again. There you go. What? I just get text about. It just takes me. Oh, did you see the new uh, bridal things they're doing? And heroes. I have not yet. I mean, I've seen people talking about it, but there's like one duo that people like. Or was it a duo that people won? <gasps> I can use Mercurius now. Damn it. Damn it. Abel, no! Please don't crit. No crits. Fuck yeah. Please don't have a fucking javelin. Right, yes. Alright. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Damn, they're back to full health now. Holy shit. Woo! Things are getting a little spicy oh. in here. Have you seen my new status on Discord? Yes, storming the gates of Inbar. <laughs> yes. Found it fitting. Dead. That's just my temporary one while I'm not playing Fire Emblem at the moment. Damn. What's wrong? What are you trying to do? Hmm. Here you go. You go to YouTube. <laughs> this is problematic. What? So there's this uh, uh, website called World Anvil. And it literally gives you ideas and layouts for like worlds and continents that you can create. And it kind of gives you like a step by step guide of okay, you know, name your place, you know, what's your place like, you know, give some introduction to like the cities and stuff like that. Basically, it's just there to help you like make your world one step at a time. Although after Mother. the name, it's introduction, write three to five evocative paragraphs describing your world. Provocative? Like, uh, evocative. Oh. And I'm like, you want me to write three to five paragraphs? I don't know about that. <laughs> A teaser of what's to come for your readers and your initial inspiration. What do you think's a fitting number for, uh, kingdoms? I feel like six is a pretty good number. You know, I was thinking about it. What? Odland's a big place. It's gotta be tough for like even just three different factions to handle everything. Yeah. All for it all to go into just one faction controlling all of it. Yeah. It's gotta be tough. There's gotta be places that just don't get your attention. Oh yeah, there are. There are a lot. Yeah. And it's just like... That's, that's a lot of responsibility. Usually Fire Emblem games have like five places they just focus usually on two because one's trying to go on World Conquest. Yeah. Holy shit, Minerva! Damn! Gonna take a little bit more damage? Fuck. The one in Fates never got a name, it was just some land that, uh, both sides were trying to conquer. Really? That's interesting. Are you fucking kidding me? Nerva.
Holy shit, man. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> what? Okay. First set the current date of your world. And then um got world building, characters, conditions, conflicts, countries, documents, ethnicities, ge generic articles, geography, items, language, materials, military units, myths and legends, natural laws, organizations, professions, plots. Pros, religions, titles, settlements, species, spells, technologies, traditions, and vehicles. <laughs> Here's a quick guide, and I'm like, oh man, they are uh, maps, timelines, secrets, articles, charts. That's not too much, it's your basic world builder, dude. No, I know, it's just looking at like all these options, it's like, oh, that's a lot, but that's... I know it's like not really, and it's like getting things really fleshed out, which is nice. You just don't do it a lot. I was about to say, I'm just new to this, so it's like, it's daunting. It's scary. It's scary. Just say it's scary. It, it is. It is. God damn it, I gotta start this over again. <clears throat> Am I going to turn into a dragon at the end? I know, Princess Minerva, you don't care about your freaking family or whatever. But it's fun, I think I gave myself an apt amount of time to be able to get everything set up. Cause I was like, uh, cause I was like, when is it? I'm like, uh, it's not gonna be like soon. It'll probably be like two or three weeks, maybe a month. This is enough time, right? right. Sure. Hide behind me, Julian. My sweet, sweet boy. What are you doing, Elias? And again, uh, I was just, like trying to get ideas on like how to start doing like creating worlds and campaigns and stuff. Cause you know, like I said, I was asking you trips. And, uh, I was listening to a couple things while I was working on like tips, and then one guy was like, "Yeah." You know, with this playlist, with this series, we're gonna be, uh, learning to make a campaign in the short time of a year, and I'm like... Huh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it didn't take, uh, for real. Yeah. It's never taken me a year to make a campaign. I guess it's just, like, if you're not working on it diligently. No, I said, like, yo, maybe, like, 30 minutes a week. 30 minutes to an hour a week. Nice! Lind is now level 5. Navarre is still a piece of shit. Yay, Gordon leveled up. Level 3 sniper. Didn't get shit for right. a minute. I'll be right back. Shit.
Okay. I feel bad. Every time Burry wants to do something, I'm about to get off. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's always on like, such random times, I feel like. Nah, no, but he'll always text me during the day, Hey, you want to do something? I'm like, I'm at work right now. And then, like, I'll get off of work, and then he'll be like, I'll be on later tonight. And I'll get off work, I'll be playing, and then at, like, 3 in the morning, he'll be like, Okay, hey, you want to play something? I'm like, I gotta go to bed for work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I'm like, I, I don't want it to seem like I'm avoiding him, I keep like explaining to him, like, Braxton, please let Bray know that I'm seriously not trying to avoid him, he just has the worst timing for things. And he's like, no, he knows, he doesn't think you're avoiding him, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's say I'm kind of afraid that they would tell him differently. Now he's like, just explain to Bray what's going on, and I'm sure he'll get it, and I'm like... Okay, I'll go. Holy shit! That took so much damage, holy crap. But I am about to hop off and then uh, probably lay down for a minute before I go back to work. Well, that sounds smart, just because I feel like you won't wake back up, but... I always do. Okay. Except for one time, I woke up like 30 minutes after I was supposed to go in several calls from work. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, man. See ya. See ya. Oh, fuck. This sounds, this sounds horrible. Okay. 
Nope, nope, we're not doing this. Did. Elias, what? What's wrong, buddy? Why are you screaming? <laughs> nice. What is your problem? I hope he does not have a fucking lens. He does have a freaking job. You have turned into the wrong kingdom this time. Damn it, I didn't mean to use the fucking wing spear. Oh no. I made a grave mistake. Real speak. Mastodon's Injectable Foundation! Thank you. Elias, buddy. Fuck, 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 fuck. Gosh, it's still useful to fire. Maybe that'll save my boy. I hope it does. Jesus, he levels up so quickly.
Nice, Frey. Alright. Nice, dude. All right, heck yeah. Let's get out of here. Rinse Marth. That voice, Lord Godo, is that you? I see you have made it to Macedon. You will find me in a village north of the Macedon area, the castle. If you possess the Light Sphere and Star Sphere, have them in hand when you visit me there. Ah, uh, yes, I also have good news. Your sister, Elise, is unharmed. What? You're certain? Where is she now? Thaves, City of Illusion. Gardev took her there with him when he fled. I pray you rescue her soon. I will. First, bring me the two orbs. Without Starlight's mighty blast, Gardev will only add your life to the list of things he has taken from you. Heck yeah, man. I'm gonna end this here because, uh, three more chapters and I'm done with this game. Hell yeah. I'm gonna end this here because, uh, I'm gonna watch some TV and eat some lunch.